Hello, Hacienda La Puente. This is Ricardo, one of your tech tosas. And today we're going to show you how to use our new Savas LTIA integration with Canvas. We are very excited about this because you're going to be able to do some amazing things such as add Savas assignments straight into Canvas. And you are going to notice that for the ones that are self-graded, you are going to have the grades available for you. Um, also, your students will be able to see their responses and you'll be able to see them in SpeedGrader. This wasn't possible before. You also have the ability to add Savas content links into a page. So if you wanted to add the PowerPoints or the videos or maybe the audio files, you have the ability to do that. Uh, you also will be able to use the additional subscriptions that our district has. So for instance, if you teach biology, but you wanted to see some of the um, assignments in chemistry or some of the resources in chemistry, you can do that. Or for instance, for a Spanish teacher, if I teach Spanish two, I can also have access to Spanish one or Spanish three, as I try to differentiate from my students if I wanted to add some of those assignments. Um, the same thing applies for social science. You'll have access to US history, civics, world history, and so on and so on, if you choose. If you don't choose that, and we'll show you where that is, you just be, have access to your particular uh, course and the class that you're teaching. Finally, uh, the students will be able to see all of their responses, and we're going to show you how they're going to complete assignments and how it's going to look for you too. So both you and the students are going to be able to see the student work, which wasn't possible before. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the course that you are going to use. So let's go ahead and click on the course you are going to use. Okay, and the integration has been done. So when you're ready, if you function out of modules and you create assignment, assignments out of modules, you can do it that way. But for us, for this particular one, we're gonna go to assignments, just so you see how it looks, okay? So let's go ahead and click on assignments. And let's go ahead and create one assignment. And let's just go ahead and call it Sabbath test, just for now. So let's go ahead and give it a name. And now in the rich content editor, you can go ahead and give the instructions for this particular um, assignment. So you could just say, just complete the assignment, completely up to you, right? Once you have uh, put the instructions under points, you're going to give the points that you want this assignment to be worth. And the amazing thing about our integration is that Canvas is going to translate um, whatever the point uh, value that was on Savas realized and give it a point value based on the points that you give here. So let's make it worth 10 points, okay? And again, if this was worth 100% and realized, so you know, whatever it was, it's going to translate it to the points that we gave in Canvas. Now, uh, if you have an assignment group that you wanna send it to, you're gonna change that, obviously. We only have one group right here. And then now we're gonna go to external tools, okay? By default, this is always an online submission, so let's make sure that we switch it to external tools and go ahead and go find after you've done that. So now when you get here, just be careful because we have two different types of Savas integration. So we wanna make sure that we pick the first one, the one that says Savas Realize Course Content, okay? So let's go ahead and pick that one. And the first time that you do this, this is what I was referring to. It's going to look for your account and it's going to ask you what content you wanna have access to, okay? So notice that we do have our Realidades for Spanish, we do have our Social Science content, and you also now have our Science content, okay? So over here, you could pick the content that you wanna have to. So for this particular one, let's go ahead and just pick uh, some of the Science content, okay? So let's pick the uh, maybe the uh, Biology one, if we scroll down. Let's pick the Biology one. And then let's also pick the chemistry one. So we have the biology right there and let's pick the chemistry one, okay? So let's go ahead and press okay. So now that we've done that, you're gonna notice that real is gonna take you into Savas Realize and notice that we have the two programs that we pick. We have the California chemistry and the biology one, right? But we are working with biology, I'm a biology teacher. So let's turn that one on so we can see those particular assignments. So once you do that, you're going to see everything that is available for the Realize program for that biology one, okay? Notice that you can search. At this moment, we don't have the ability uh, to see the table of contents. This is coming uh, during the summer, but right now you can search. So if you know the name of the assignment, if you're going to Realize, some people, a best practice is to have Pearson Realize open on the next window and be able to have the table of contents and find them right there. And then you'll be able to just find them by the name. So here's 
all the assignments that we found by cro for chromosome. You can also do relevance, but we've just typed the name and we're going to assign it, okay? So we're gonna assign one of the assignments. Something to remember too is that you can only assign one assignment at a time per Canvas assignment. So you couldn't come in here and click all those four different assignments. You can only pick one, okay? So we're going to pick one. And after that, we're gonna import. And before you close it, um, we highly recommend to scroll down because we want to make sure that this loads in a new tab, okay? Um, the way it loads right now, it's inside of Canvas, so it looks really small. Our students do have the ability to load it in a new tab, but if you do this, it's going to automatically do that for them, okay? And let's go ahead and select. Once we've done this, um, you also have the ability, obviously, to give it a due date as we scroll down. We're going to have it um, due date, which will be, let's do the 21st. And also, let's have an end date. Oh, you can do available from if you want to, but we'll just give it an end date to the 21st too. So it goes away that date too, okay? And now we're ready. So let's go ahead and save and publish. So now that we publish, let's see what our students are going to um, see when they come and complete the assignment. So let's go ahead and load the Savas test in a new window. So when our students do this, um, you're going to see that it's going to take them basically to Pearson Realize, but inside of Canvas. So they're going to be able to start the quiz. So let's go ahead and start the quiz. Notice they have the ability to listen to the questions. And over here, they'll be able to basically take the quiz and they can review progress. They can move forward and back and they'll be able to submit it for us. Okay, so they have the ability to do all of this, but this is actually taking place inside of Canvas. So when they submit the assignment, what's going to happen for us as teachers is let's go ahead and go back to Canvas so you can see it. You'll notice that you'll have the ability to go to SpeedGrader straight from here. So let's go ahead and click on it. And inside of here, you're going to see their responses. Obviously, we don't have any submissions right now, but you'll be able to see the responses. If it was auto-graded, it will automatically give them a grade, okay? So you don't have to grade. And in addition to that, it will put it in the grade book. So if we go to grade book now, if we go back to the, all the way to the left over here where you can access your grades, it's going to take you back to the grade book. So you can just kind of go and hit on a little notebook and that goes back to your grades. And then here, you're going to see that the Savas assignment is going to be somewhere in here. Notice that it says Savas test. So now we have a full integration. And once it's graded, you can push these grades directly from Canvas into Aries Gradebook. If you have any questions, please contact any of your tech tosses. Have a great day.